Hi, it's Keith at Scheider Farms, and I'm back here at my um, at butterfly and bird garden behind our house. And we enjoy this a lot, because it, it really does attract a lot of uh, butterflies and birds throughout the year, like all winter and everything. Uh, but what I'm doing out here today is deadheading. You can see I'm a little behind on some of my deadheading. But in order to keep plants looking really nice and tidy, you want to deadhead some. So especially if they're in the front of your house where you see them a lot. So what you want to do is just basically cut them back down to where there is a, another branch. Some of these will reflower. Um, there's some new branches coming there that will get some flowers. So we'll prolong the flowering season by doing this. And you might as well do some weeding while you're at it. So these are Becky Shasta daisies my all-time favorite Shasta daisy and that's what you do on those I've got some I've got some bee balm right here too now bee balm's not going to re rebloom very much at all but as you can see you got a lot of dead flowers on top and we just want to cut it back some to keep it looking a little bit better so I am going to cut it down about halfway and I want to show you I like to cut things just above where they branch and that way You'll get some new regrowth, fresh regrowth, and it'll cover that cut up. If you just cut it any old where, um, you're just gonna have some dead, dead stem. So again, we wanna cut it back pretty good. We'll get some new, nice fresh growth to make the plant look a little bit better this way, and maybe even a little bit of new blue. So there's your bee balm. Um, one thing I wanna say is the reason I grow all this stuff back here is to attract bees and humming hummingbirds, uh, pollinators. So a lot of these seed heads are very attractive to uh, finches, especially. So I like to leave, I leave most of my uh, echinacea, this is echinacea, but if you want to deadhead yours, again, it's just about like the Shasta daisies. Cut them back to where maybe they can branch again. Get rid of the old, ugly spent flowers and it will freshen them up and tidy them up a little bit. I got one more thing over here. We've got some garden flocks. Again, these flowers are about done. I got some side shoots coming. So I'm just going to take some of the old, this is a kind of a bad looking stem. So let's just get rid of it. Anything that is dead looking, any brown stems, any bad leaves, it's not going to green back up. Just go ahead and cut those all the way out to keep it looking fresher. So here we're just going to cut cut the dead flowers off and we're going to get some more coming from some of these side branches now when these are all done you can cut them down low um, so we got a lot of work as you can see here plenty of weeds plenty of deadheading to do um, summer is when perennials shine so to prolong that a little bit just keep them deadheaded and um, leave a few for the birds though and your gardens will look great we'll see you next time in the greenhouse